I'm a little bit lost now, but somehow I don't wanna be anywhere else with anyone else. Hi guys, so if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I recently purchased a rather expensive pair of jeans. And you may also know that it took a lot of umming and ahhing before I finally made that leap by going pay now and check out because they're more expensive to me. And if I'm gonna buy something, I wanna make sure I get a great return on my investment and that I always follow my mantra, which is only buy what you love, value, use, and appreciate. Now, when these jeans arrived, I took a couple of days to have a play around with them to see what they felt like, were they comfortable, were they gonna work for my lifestyle, uh, were they gonna work with all the existing items already in my wardrobe, and most importantly, can I make sure that these are really versatile in that can I create as many different looks as possible so that these get great at cost per wear. Now I'm gonna share with you how I have managed to style and put together lots of creative and different looks with these jeans. But in playing around with my wardrobe, I realized there were seven key things that I was thinking about and I was doing over and over again to ensure that my purchases were really good, not just these jeans. And it's funny, since purchasing these jeans and realizing how fantastic they are, I have nicknamed them my happy jeans because when I wear these jeans, it's gonna be a good day. And it's really funny, I have been wearing these jeans so much that Tom has said he's sick to death of seeing me in these jeans and he's actually started insisting that I go shopping and buy some more clothes. Now, if a male in your life is telling you to go shopping and buy some clothes, it means you are doing something right because you are getting great cost per wear out of your wardrobe. So of course, I will not be listening to him. In fact, I'm gonna be wearing these jeans even more just to annoy Tom. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the seven things that I think about, about how I maximize my wardrobe with minimizing my purchases. All right, the first thing I think about is footwear. When I buy something, I stop and take the time to ask myself, what range of footwear can I wear that will transform this particular item? So for example, a pair of jeans is always gonna look great with a white sneaker, but will those jeans work well with a beautiful stiletto heel or a fantastic, elegant sandal or a cute ballet flat or some espadrilles? I want to make sure that I can wear a whole range of different footwear with that core item. And this is particularly important because when you take an item and go from say a flat shoe to a high shoe, you really transform it. You can go from something that's really casual to something that's really quite striking and chic and fashionable and sometimes even elegant. The second thing I think about when I'm buying something, and this is for all items, and that is, does it work with my existing items, particularly my handbags? Because as you guys know, I absolutely love a beautifully made handbag. So I will stop and take the time to pull out my handbags, style and wear them in different ways in that I'll put a handbag across a crossover, I'll put it over my shoulder. If I can, I'll double the strap and make it over the shoulder, but just under my arm. It is a worker's carrying it with a clutch. Can I wear it just simply over my shoulder? Are the handbags that I already own going to really work in creating lots of different looks with this potential purchase? The third thing that I think about are what personal touches can I add to this outfit with my existing pieces that really raise its bar, take it to the next level, make it even more unique and special and my signature style. Now that might be something really simple like adding a range of different belts that you might collect over time to wear it in a different type of way. Or it might mean adding some studs or some diamante brooches to your jeans or whatever item you're purchasing. What sort of unique things, even things like wrapping around a beautiful colored scarf around the strap of a handbag, or getting a really cool key ring and hanging it off your jeans or hanging it off your handbag. What different unique things that most people don't even think about that you can really add that final finishing touch that really just elevates your outfit. The fourth thing I think about is my color palette. Is that potential purchase going to work with the existing color palette that you already have? I share with you guys that I have a very basic color palette, but then I have pastels and the occasional pop of color and the occasional splash of leopard print. I love beautiful leopard print, but not in excess, just really small, subtle, refined touches here and there that can really, I guess, give an outfit a new sense of pizzazz. 
So this is what I will think about. Will some of those colors, those light, lighter colors or brighter colors, or those patterns that I already own, work with that potential purchase? So my fifth and probably my most helpful and valuable tip in this video, and that is investing time and energy playing in your wardrobe. Not just playing and putting together the outfits, but that is also really important, but the time in the way that you wear those individual items. So for example, you'll see in this video that I am wearing a white shirt. Don't just throw on a white shirt. Stop and take the time to style it in different ways. Maybe you can tuck that shirt all the way in for a more slimming look around your waistline. Or maybe you can just tuck in the front for a more casual look or wear the whole thing out with a slim fitting pant for a more boxy look. Also look at the way that you're wearing your collar. Can you wear the collar all the way buttoned in with maybe a necklace around the neckline? Can you have it buttoned all the way that's open with a camisole underneath? Can you change the collar where you flick it up for a really chic, sharp, sh like sh elegant, I think I'm getting tongue twisted, um, look. Think about the wrists. What can you do with the sleeve? Can you fold the sleeve up just a little bit so it shows your watch or your cuff or your bracelets? Can you roll it all the way up just to your elbow for again, a more slimming, polished look? Or maybe you have it completely open but completely unbuttoned. Stop and take the time with that particular item to wear it and style it in different ways. You'd be amazed as to what it really does to your whole entire outfit and it really transforms it. And I guess you raise your bar in the way that you look when you walk out the door. So tip number six is gonna be counterintuitive to tip number four about having a harmonious color palette. And that is what are the, your naughty pops of color and pattern and craziness that you can add to a classic investment outfit that will send it into a new different direction that will add a whole different element to the outfits that you've created. Now you'll see in this video, I've taken these jeans with a classic white shirt but then I've added a whole new look to it by teaming it with a leopard print handbag, some leopard print shoes, I haven't overdone it, it's quite subtle, and then some bright hot pink toenails. It still keeps it really refined and polished, but I've still added that element of something that's interesting and fun by adding some loud colors and patterns to a classic look. Again, it's all about creating as many looks as possible without owning lots of different outfits. Tip number seven, which is my final tip, and I call this my yin and my yang consideration, is where I take two different types of clothing from different ends of the spectrum, bring them together to again, create a whole new dimension within my wardrobe. So you'll see me in this video where I wear these jeans and I've teamed them with a very pretty feminine lace blouse. Looks really elegant and delicate. But then I've on my footwear, I've put it with my scary shoes, which are my Valentino rock stud shoes, which are fairly aggressive looking shoes in that they're patent, they're pointy, and they've got lots of gold hardware to the point where people, when they see me wear these shoes, they tell me I look like I might hurt them with them. And it's really quite interesting look that you bring together because you've got the soft feminine, but then you've got the aggressive, like masculine dominant energy of those two items. And then you can throw on a blazer, which is something that looks very corporate and formal, or even something simple like a leather, black leather jacket. So again, really thinking about adding the soft element to the aggressive masculine element and see your outfit again transform to a whole new different dimension. All right, you're gonna now see exactly what I'm talking about in action. You're gonna see how I've created seven very different looks through the existing items in my wardrobe. So I'm able to maximize my wardrobe whilst minimizing my budget and minimizing you know, the clutter and distractions and waste in my wardrobe. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure you watch to all the way to the end and everything is linked in the video description box below if you want to know where to get these jeans or where also to get other similar purchases like this. So enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. <music>
Just hold on, cause I can't let you go. Oh, oh, oh. I can't let you go. Just see. 